Imagine that you are a fish. You get hooked in deep water and some nasty fisherman reels you up right to the surface and the change in pressure causes your swim bladder to expand. It expands so much to the point that your insides are pouring out your mouth. Your gut is sticking out your mouth. Your eyes are bulging out of your skull. This is barotrauma. Barotrauma can not only be extremely uncomfortable for a fish, but in a lot of the cases it'll actually kill it unless it's released very quickly and done in a particular manner. If you're not familiar with barotrauma, it occurs when you catch a fish in roughly 30 feet uh, of water or deeper. The change in pressure as you're bringing that fish up uh, causes its swim bladder to expand because of the change in pressure. There's a lot of pressure where it's deep, much less pressure up here at surface level. So its swim bladder expands and that actually forces its organs and eyes to protrude out of its own body. It's extremely uncomfortable for the fish and can cause death. Swim bladder is what allows a fish to rise and fall in the water column. Uh, well, more easily anyway. In order to reverse the effects of barotrauma or to have a chance to, you have to release a fish that's affected by it in 15 to 20 seconds. And you'll know if it's affected by it, its eyes will be bulging out of its head a little bit. Even if you do that, there's a chance the fish is not going to survive. So really you want to avoid fishing in these scenarios where you're going to potentially inflict barotrauma on the fish. A horrible way to die. Fortunately, uh, lake trout or trout in general and salmon are less susceptible to barotrauma because their guts are connected to their swim bladders which allows them to burp air out of their swim bladder and thus prevent it from expanding horribly. That's why when you're pulling up a, a lake trout often you'll see a bunch of bubbles. It's burping out air from its swim bladder through its gut. So it's great that they have that ability because then you can still fish for lake trout deep in the winter and they're able to largely uh, take care of themselves. I've heard that trout uh, can still experience barotrauma. Uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, I bet that is true. So you still want to be careful and, and handle the fish quickly. If you need a photo, do it very quickly and get it back down the hole. Traditionally, some people used a method called uh, fizzing or venting, where you actually stab the fish with like a little needle uh, and you try to get its swim bladder so that the air can release. Uh, that is not a good practice because uh, unless you have advanced knowledge of fish biology, you don't know where the swim bladder is. You're just poking and hoping. So uh, you have pr a better chance of hitting one of their vital organs, which will kill the fish. The safest way to release a fish that uh, you've caught very deep down is to use a weighted clamp. So you actually put the clamp on their jaw, in their mouth, uh, and then attach like a heavy weight to it, uh, several ounces, and then allow it to pull the fish back down to the bottom. And then the clamp is rigged in such a way that once you give the line a tug, it'll actually release uh, from the fish's mouth and then the fish will step back down there and can recover. But realistically, most people are not gonna do that. You need a dedicated rod to, uh, to have that rig set up and you have to bring it and, and buy it. And most people aren't gonna do that realistically. I don't, in all honesty. Uh, so I think the best thing you can do is avoid fishing for fish uh, in deep water that don't have that ability. So if you wanna fish for a trout and salmon in deeper water, that should be fine. But uh, other fish, uh, if you're going deeper than 30 feet, uh, you better be prepared to keep the fish because uh, there's a good chance it'll be afflicted by barotrauma. One myth about barotrauma is that uh, if you pull the fish up slower, uh, it'll actually reduce the effects of barotrauma, and that's not true. Uh, I actually thought that for a while as well. It seems logical because if you could think the fish would slowly adjust to the pressure, uh, but no, that uh, that only gives the swim bladder more time to expand uh, and actually just worsens the scenario for the fish. So the faster you can complete and release, uh, complete the catch and release the fish, the better. Anyway, those are the basics of barotrauma that I think every angler should know and uh, think about when they're fishing because we got to take care of these fish.
they give a lot to us and uh, we just have to treat them with respect.